This is the Yankees' last chance. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you love the Yankees but you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest in New York Yankees news or just for plain old New York Yankees discussion. So, last night, you guys most likely have heard this already, but Blake Snell signed with the San Francisco Giants two years, over $60 million. There's an opt-out after his first year, so most likely, if he pitches well, stays healthy, he's going to test free agency next offseason. So the Yankees, this is their last chance to go out and get a substantial arm for that starting rotation. And with Garrett Cole missing time, with question marks in in Rodon, even though he looked really, really good in his most recent spring training start, five and two-thirds, no hit innings, very good. I'm happy for him. I hope he's able to turn it around this upcoming season, but he's still a question mark. Marcus Stroman, same thing. Nestor Cortez, same thing. If these guys are healthy, they will be good. But if they're not healthy, uh, it's going to get scary, especially with Cole being out. So this is the Yankees' last chance to go out and get a substantial arm for that starting rotation. And the man I'm talking about is none other than Jordan freaking Montgomery. Now, you guys might say, Joe, he doesn't want to come here. He doesn't want to play here. Well, in the beginning of the offseason, Montgomery did mention there's no hard feelings between me and the Yankees. There's none. But then Jeff Passan also reported that the Yankees love Montgomery and they would love to bring him back. Uh, I guess in a way, the feeling really wasn't mutual after all. Well, Montgomery is still on the market. He's still there. Uh, he visited Boston apparently and, and nothing came of that. Texas, we're not entirely sure if he's going to go back there. I believe that was his, that was his preferred destination. It, it didn't happen for him. It hasn't happened yet. And the feeling is in Major League Baseball that Texas doesn't want him back just because of the money. So, okay, there's that. Maybe he does end up going back to Texas. Who knows? The Yankees, in my opinion, need to sign Montgomery. They need to, 100%. And he might cost them $20 million. It might not cost them what, what Blake Snell would have costed them. He, he might just cost you $20 million, especially at this point. You could get him on a, on a, a similar deal that, that the other Boris clients got, uh, a one, uh, two, three-year deal with, with, with an opt-out after the first, second year. Bl- Blake Snell got that two-year deal opt-out after the first year. Bellinger got that three-year deal opt-out. Chapman, same thing. Signed a multi-year deal opt-out after, after the first year. So these guys, if they have good seasons, they're going to test again. You could do the same for Montgomery. And the great thing about it is Montgomery is not going to cost you compensation. He, he didn't get a qualifying offer. So Montgomery isn't going to cost you a, a draft pick, international bonus money. He's just going to cost you money, the green stuff, because he's going to put you over the Cohen threshold. And that is something that the Yankees hesitated to do in signing Blake Snell. Because there's a report out there that the Yankees were, in fact, still in on Blake Snell until the end. They were just apprehensive in going over the luxury tax for Blake Snell because, hey, if you sign him for 30, it would be, what, 60, 62 million, 63 million, something of that, right? 110%. So in signing Montgomery to $10 million less, really, it's $20 million less. Then if you were to sign Blake Snell, if you include the, the, the tax. If Monty does get 20, which that's what I think he will get. So, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments. This is their last chance to go out and get a substantial starting pitcher who will make an impact immediately. Last season between the Cardinals and the Rangers, 10-11, and 3-2-0 ERA. 
in almost 190 innings pitched. Montgomery pitched very well for Texas in the postseason. He pitched very well for Texas just overall last year. But he's somebody that I would love the Yankees to go and grab. I think he figured it out. He uh, adapted and he had a chip on his shoulder. He proved us wrong. He proved us Yankee fans wrong. He proved the Yankees wrong. So will the Yankees go and try to court him and say, hey, Jordan, we were wrong and we're sorry. Please sign this contract. Like I said, it's not going to cost you bonus money. It won't cost you draft picks. It'll just cost you a little more than it should because of the luxury tax. So listen, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. Live streams, Mondays, Wednesdays as of right now. Fridays, when the regular season starts, I'll be resuming live streaming on Fridays. 5 p.m. Be on the lookout for those. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays during the regular season as well. So listen, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out. And to all of our channel members here at The Shift, thank you guys. It means a lot.